Welcome back. November is National Family Caregivers Month, and PSS Circle of Care is partnering with the Bronzeboro President to co-host the Caregiver Expo for family members, friends, or neighbors looking after an older adult who is frail, chronically ill, or has memory loss. Joining us to tell us more is Damon Brathwaite, Outreach Manager of PSS Circle of Care, and Sonia Schutz, Senior Director of PSS Circle of Care. Welcome. So good to see you again. Likewise. And likewise. Welcome, so Sonia. good to be here. Thank you. So before we go into the event, let's tell everybody more about PSS Circle of Care, what it is that you all do, and your mission, uh, that the services that you're giving to the community. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, PSS Circle of Care is a caregiver support program, so we provide support to caregivers that are ill, elderly, um, caring for someone that is ill, elderly, frail, or experiencing memory loss. Mm -hmm. um, we provide support to caregivers across all five boroughs of New York City. And um, in addition, we also provide support to kinship caregivers. So caregivers um, that are caring for a child in their family, but they are not necessarily the parent. When you're talking about the support, are you doing this through workshops? How, what kind of support are you providing? Yes, so we provide a wide range of support. We offer uh, individual and family consultations, and in that way we're able to connect these families with really important and valuable resources. We also offer um, temporary time off um, inside or outside the home. We contract with uh, home care vendors to offer respite care. Uh, in addition, we offer support groups, which we find to be a really critical and important um, resource for caregivers. I would caregivers. think so, so that people know that they're not alone exactly. in this. Exactly. Right? That's actually our tagline. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did I know? Um, and and that's, that's the value of support groups, is they really function to normalize a caregiver's experience mm -hmm. um, and help them to, to, just as you said, realize that they're not alone in their caregiving journey. That's excellent. It is, yes. And then um, finally, we do a lot, as you had mentioned, workshops and education and training in the community. Um, one workshop that Stamen often does mm -hmm. is um, Caregiving 101. Um, in addition to understanding dementia, we really mm -hmm. just want to raise awareness and um, make sure caregivers feel that they are supported, both caregivers that are caring for someone who is ill, elderly, frail, has memory loss, in addition to our kinship caregivers as well. Now, last time mm -hmm. you were on the show, we were talking about that, about yes. um, how you can know if a loved one is suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia, Correct. and a lot of it was fear, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if the uh, your parent, maybe they're in denial about this, right? Like, Excellent. how do you go about saying, you know what, no, let's check this out? I think the signs are that um, we really don't like to use the word dementia or Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and that's like something that is really not recognized within not only the U United States, but around the world. People are like very fearful of the terms that, that are used, dementia, oh, mm -hmm. well, this person might have like Alzheimer's. But once you recognize any sign of um, memory loss, like for example, I think I used the same example the last time you forgot your keys yesterday yes. and then today again you're forgetting your keys. Yeah. These are signs where you really do want to take your um, loved one to a primary care doctor to really check out. It may not be anything, but you just want to be very, very cautious yes. and you know, just make sure that everything is okay. Like early detection for everything is key, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. let's talk about the events that you're going to be having with yes. the Borough President's Office. Um, there are a few that you, two actually that we're going to be talking about today, right? Right. Yeah. So the first one is the um, Caregivers Conference, which is November 6th. And we are very happy to, to actually host this in November because November is actually Caregivers Month. So for all caregivers who are caring for a loved one, a friend, whatever, at whatever capacity, this is the month that we want, really want to acknowledge them and celebrate them. So this event, we have many different exhibitors that are going to be there, like, um, for example, Preferred Home Care, Caring Kind, Elder Care, um, of course, us, PSS Circle of Care, mm -hmm. we're going to be one of the exhibitors as well. Um, just sharing information and resources to the community to let them know that they, they're not alone and that we are actually here to help them. So they'll have um, advice from many different professionals who are going to speak on many different topics, for example, um, technology. I think um, Fiona Adams is coming from one of the agencies, and she's one of the speakers that's going to speak on how important technology is when caring for a loved one. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. And technology how? I'm curious. So technology, for example, could be um, a camera that we also provide for free. Okay. All of our services are free. So um, technology would be like a camera that 
For example, if it's a working caregiver, you're going to work, but you don't want to leave your loved one alone at home, you could place this camera within your home and, and you, you could track it that? on your phone. Yes. Oh, wow. So just in case the person falls, God forbid, mm -hmm. um, you're able to just reassure them and let them know that you know that they're on the floor and help yes. is on the way and they're not alone. And real quick before we go, I know this one is also in plan. Um, you're going to be doing a second uh, workshop along with the borough president's office. What's that one going to be about? Yeah, absolutely. So we um, are working again in collaboration with the Bronx Borough President's Office. We we certainly appreciate all the support. Um, and together we're going to be hosting uh, an, a workshop for kinship caregivers. So again, family members that are caring for a child in the family that is not necessarily the parent. And um, we really want to bring kinship ca caregivers together and provide them with really critical information and resources. Um, as it stands, Planned Parenthood will be there um, and speaking to, to the audience as well as um, a representative from the New York State um, Office of Child and Family Services. Excellent. Well, we thank you all so much for being here and for letting everyone know about the services that you offer thank to you. the community. It's so important. Great. So thank you both. Thank, thank you. you for having Excellent. us. The Grandparents Workshop is taking place at the Bronze Borough President's Office located at 851 Grand Concourse Avenue on the ninth floor. The Caregiver Expo will be taking place on Wednesday, November 6th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. also at the Bronze Borough President's Office. For more information on PSS Circle of Care and their events, you can visit their website at pssCaregivers.org or email careinfo at pssusa.org. Or you can also call their hotline at 866-665-665. 1713. Don't go anywhere. More open after this.